Hello guys, welcome to Yada Belly's Kitchen once again and uh, today I am doing a little bit of a, a quick thing. Guess what? The wife didn't feel too well. Yeah, the wife didn't feel too well. The wife look like she'll come down with the cold and the flu. So I'm going to make some remedy, you understand? And the remedy, have, as you can see, the remedy involves chicken. Some chicken soup I make. And this is not the regular rich, thick chicken soup where normally everybody that make. This is going to be a little bit on the lighter side, almost like a chicken broth. But, you know, we stay, we are Jamaican, so we have to put a pumpkin in it. Yeah, so I have, have a half a pumpkin here, so. Yeah, I look a small one. But now I'm going to use all of that. I'm going to use maybe a quarter of that. And then I have a carrot. I have a piece of one, a, a, a parsnip. I have a carrot. I have chocho. I'm going to use all of this garlic. I have a little bit of ginger. And a couple of stalks of scallions. I have, uh, this is maybe half two halves of a tomato so I say one tomato and i have some thyme and over here i have my whole herbal pantry thingy going on there so join me in the kitchen as i make my cold and flu remedy homemade remedy which is chicken soup all right member now the first thing i want to do is i want to add some of my herbs to uh, my chicken because, I got, as I said, this is a remedy. So, I have to do my chicken. And, and guys, most people don't do their chicken their chicken soup the way I do. It is okay. You can't go wrong with, with cooking like this. And don't don't be enamored, you know, by people's recipes and the way in which people do them thing. You can do it your way. All right? So, I'm going to add some, some stuff. I'm adding my Jody's Kitchen right here. All right? And I'm adding a, a lot of that because... I like the flavor all right then I'm adding a little bit of sage yes as I said this is um this is um a remedy this is not so much a meal as much as it is a remedy some want me my nice herbs tonight I make it it's strong up you understand I'm adding a little bit of ground cumin and ground cumin is very very good guys and it have awesome flavor and to round it off i'm gonna put a little bit of my garam masala indian blend all right i'm putting just a little bit of my garam masala maybe a half of a teaspoon of each all right the the jody's kitchen i would say one teaspoon of jody's kitchen and everything else is half of a teaspoon all right and then i'm gonna put my garlic and my regular my fresh ingredients in this chicken next I've rubbed, rough chopped all of my, my little ingredients, the garlic and my um, scallions and the tomato, the thyme, everything. I rough chopped them and I'm going to add this now, see, to my chicken. Right, I'm going to knock everything. Yeah, I know you guys don't like the knocking, but that's part of kitchen work. Yes, when you're working in the kitchen, you have to do a little knocking in the kitchen. You don't know it, go. So I'm going to put that and then I'm going to put a heaping tablespoon of my green seasoning. Yeah. And you can see the the um, the link for green seasoning is going to be right up here. So up on the top of the screen here, right up there. So, all right. I'm going to put a little more. I can put a little bit more. Just a little more. Now I'm going to mix up all of this, blend up all of this and make it. Um, just marinate just a little bit while me cut up the rest of ingredients. And the wifey, tell them about the dumpling. I don't tell them. Tell them about the dumpling. The wifey says she wants dumplings, so she make two dumplings. So over there, so but me not telling about it. That's just between me and her. All right. So my stove is on, and to the pot I'm gonna add a spoon, a teaspoon of coconut oil. Oh, I can't remember if it's stop not the pot. Trust me, I can't remember if it's stop not it. Don't bear with me. And then, to that, I am going to dump my chicken in. And I'm using one hand, guys, so bear with me. Mm 
here and I just want this to get a quick brown you're not going to really cook it like this you just want it to catch a quick brown you know to lock in some of them seasoning here and as I said you can do your chicken your, your soup how you like it but as for me and my kitchen we shall be cooking it this way alright so because I make this stay and brown a little bit and when it brown make me start putting the rest of stuff yeah now that my chicken meat has um, tightened up a little bit I'm gonna now add my vegetables and all my vegetables has been cut up guys I'm gonna add my vegetables now and just give this a quick stir and then I'm gonna start adding my water And I promise you, you would not believe how good this smell. This smells so good already, you know. <clears throat> and I'm going to add about four cups of water, guys. As I said, you can add the amount that you want to make it as thick or as thin as you like I'm just adding enough to cover everything and as you can see I'm using the same uh, container that my chicken was marinated it marinated in yeah and then you just want to cover the pot now and make your chicken soup boil and nicely simmer up and you see I have some Grace cock soup, the package one. I don't normally use them. Honestly, I don't normally use them because I'm, I'm trying to avoid the salt and all of that. But I might use it. If I do, I'll let you guys know. Let's let, let this cook down. Let this start to marinate nicely. And then from there, I have also two Irish potato, the red skin one. But I'll put them in there. To, to body up the soup like a bit and as soon as it comes to a boil we're gonna add the dumpling yeah so watch what I go on now. so the wife is adding in the dumpling now and it's in the form of what is called spinners spinners is pretty much it's pretty much uh you know regular dough and water with with salt so it's flour, water and salt and I'm going to try to get the, the, the um, angle with that. So show them one more time. So I'll show you how the spinners go. You just pretty much take the flour, roll it in your hand like that and drop it in the pot. Spinners. Alright, so you put a bubble and the wife is if you use the the grace um, soup package so I'm going to do that a late, little bit later on but this is what you pretty much want to do put it on, on on the fire and allow this to you know take it time and, and just simmer I'm going to turn the stove down a little bit and I'm going to leave it for maybe 45 minutes maybe an hour it no matter just left it there make it go and cook of course I'm going to add a little bit more water and yeah so that was it so it's been about 40 minutes and my soup is really doing well guys everything basically cook i'm just gonna add this um cock soup yeah grace cock soup in there now and when you're putting stuff like this in your soup you don't need to put any extra salt you know you adjust your flavors your, your seasoning to your liking still but you don't really need to put no extra salt so i'm just gonna put this in there and allow this to cook a little bit more and then we're pretty much ready for like a you understand so remember just your seasoning oh i'm gonna put up a scotch bonnet pepper on the top too here i have my habanero pepper yeah or you can use a scotch bonnet it's important guys that you don't burst the pepper all right it's very important that you don't burst the pepper if you do i'm sorry for your dog name your supper 
all right so just put that in make that cook down for your next 20 minutes put the stove pan mid to low and soup remember okay guys so this is the finished soup and as you can see it is nicely done it's rich thick and the wifey can't wait to get into it how it look babes i'm sick yes how the soup look <laughs> oh i'm sick <laughs> it look great this is supposed to be my medicine so i know i'll feel better when i'm done yeah thanks to dr yardy belly mm -hmm. so make sure you like share subscribe check out the content the description box and once again big up to all my new subscribers continue to share comment and everything and this is as i said the soup to remedy all illnesses yeah so hey yeah the belly not foreign all right me don't know because she shall go in <laughs>